hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this now as you can tell from the title this is gonna be a long one um it is girl listen i have been thrifting and doing so much over the last few months that even as long as this video is gonna be it is not gonna cover everything that i've picked up so maybe i'll do a separate video to talk about other little things that i've picked up along the way that i don't cover in this video but for right now i'm just gonna give y'all what i have gotten over um like the last couple of weeks or so so in saying this get your tea Get yourself something to eat, drink, whatever, curl up, do whatever you got to do to get comfortable because we are about to get into this Thrift With Me haul. And before we go on, if you could just do me a huge favor and just hit that like and subscribe button, I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get started and see what I got. First things first, the place that I went to here recently last weekend is called Evolution Home. Evolution Home is an antiques consignment sort of shop. They have so many cool items in there for your home, uh, clothes, shoes, jewelry, whatever you want to redo your home with and add like specialty pieces into it this place has it they are in like a, their own like little warehouse sort of type of um, establishment i mean when i tell y'all and i really wish i would have taken some footage of it i didn't unfortunately but i'm telling you guys when you go into this place it can be overwhelming because there's so much to look at so i really kept myself you know looking for specific things and made sure that i at least got them first thing that i want to talk about is the art that i got so whenever i go into thrift stores antique shops i immediately go for the jewelry and then the clothes i love brooches earrings necklaces i just love the accessories you can find some really cool pieces that you can dress up you can put them on your jack anything you want to do with them like i just that's my favorite part of going into a thrift shop is finding those sorts of things but this time i decided to check out some art first so the first piece that I got is this one right here. Now, um, when looking this up, this is actually a print of the English Wolf, and it was ex it's extinct now. Um, but this is just a depiction of English wolves, you know, hunting and whatnot. I just love this print. I think that it's really cool and i love animals and this just to me it just showed an animal that used to be here on this earth that is no longer here in their natural environment doing what they like to do best hunt and play and so i really enjoyed this and i cannot wait to find like a really cool frame to put it up i could not find the original artist of this but i just think that it's really cool all right, the next one that I got is actually in color, if you can appreciate, if you can actually see that. And it is of two um, Asiatic elephants, you know, around the 1900s. So I just thought this print was really cool too. I love elephants and I like this depiction of a mama and a baby elephant together and it's in color. And like I said, this will definitely be going up on my wall. It's really cool. Now, this final piece, not the packaging yet, but if you can appreciate it, um, it is actually called Rain, Steam, and Speed, the Great Western Railway, and it's by J.M.W. Turner. And this was back in like the, he painted this, I would say, in the 1800s. And I just thought it was really cool. My favorite artist is Monet, and it kind of gave me some Monet vibes with... Uh, just how it looks a little bit. Monet is a French Impressionist, which I will talk about later too. So that was some of the art that I got. And I found this book. Okay, this book is by William C. Uh, Seats. I believe that's how you say his name. I hope so. And it is basically giving a depiction of all of Monet's work, some early history on him, 
just what inspired some of his his works and you know just different things like that i really um the reason why i like monet is because he believed in you know getting out and painting in the element that you want like not painting inside he had a little boat he would get on that and just paint which i thought was really really cool so i'm gonna put this on my little coffee table here and just have it for if you want to come and sit down and you know read a little bit about monet you can and also monet is um, who i named my dog after and she is wild and crazy so whatever okay now to get into some of the like more fun things i thought um picking up so when i'm whenever i'm shopping in the thrift store, like i said i go for the jewelry and the clothes i have been getting recently into buying more houseware sort of items things that i can put up for when i do have my own like real big house to decorate and just having like cool little pieces i've picked up along the way so the first thing i want to talk about is actually um, these Secla Portugal ye Lemon Yellow Cabbage Teacup Set that I got. That was a mouthful. Let me just show you. All right, so here is the set. This is the tea plate here. There's the marking on the back. Hopefully it's in focus. And here's the little teacup. I love tea. I drink tea every morning. And so, um... Here we go, just trying to get it in focus. Um, I just think this was a really, really cool set. It actually, this is not the full one. This actually was just a set of three that I found. And even though it was not the full set, I really appreciated it and I love the color and the way it looks. So I just thought it was a great little set to have. I believe this set of three may have been like $15, I think. I can't really tell, but you know, it is what it is at that point. I was like, you know, I, I just love it. Now, these were made back in like the late 60s, this set. So I'm hoping that as I'm going through my thrifting journey that I will pick up more pieces from the set. I know I can probably go into eBay or somewhere like that and buy the rest of it. But I like, you know, finding different pieces in different areas. So that's what I'm going to do with that is just pick it up along the way if I see it. All right, so... The next thing that I want to talk about is a handbag that I found right here. So you can see it has like a pearlette, kind of like a sheen to it. This bag is actually by Caroline Barton and she made this bag like back in like the 80s um she was really popular back then for her evening bags and whatnot uh this purse actually is in really really good shape so you can see like the inside is very clean uh it does not have the original chain on it which i don't you know i really didn't mind that because i can easily find like a really cute gold chain to go with the um, with the gold accents on the bag i just love bags this shape and this size i feel as though these are perfect for on the go you can dress this purse up or down so i really appreciate it when i saw them like this is this is great so i would definitely be carrying this with me when i go out next thing that i want to talk about is jewelry okay so the first thing i want to talk about is some earrings that i picked up these right here Is it gonna... Okay, these earrings right here, they are by Kenneth J. Lane um, when he did a line with Avon. This was back in like the, you know, the 80s. I just think these are really cool. I like the shell shape, sh shell shape of them. Um, and they're just really cute. They're gold and they have like the little um, crystals in them. Can't wait to wear those. The next thing I want to talk about is another pair of earrings that I found at Evolution. Like everything I'm talking about right now is from Evolution Home. Just to make sure I'm, I'm clear on that. Um, these earrings here. Now they are made by a local artist. And she actually goes to the shop and she gets old tins. Um, coffee tins, just different little tins. And she makes jewelry out of them. 
so uh, coffee tea biscuit tins like it's really really cool I just love these here they um, you know like it's just a cute little pattern that's on there uh, reminds me of like you know a print that you would see back in the 70s 60s 70s I just love them very very cute and different alrighty okay so this brooch here if you guys can appreciate that this brooch is actually from Sarah Coventry uh, this brooch and it's marked as well which is mm, probably definitely be able to see it but um, it's marked on this little leaf right there it has like the green and the white the little pearls on it and it's just it's just very very cute I love I, I just think it's really cute I'm gonna add it probably to a lapel of a jacket onto a purse something I don't know and finally the brooch that I found was this little guy here and I like the shape and all of the detail that's on it I cannot find any information about it like where it comes from or who made it so I just think that it's really really cute if anybody knows or is familiar with this actual design okay so now we're gonna get into the clothes section of this video now let me tell you, there's been a lot of clothes acquired over the last few months. I'm going to show you things that I've gotten over the last few weeks. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually this top that I'm wearing right now. This is a cami. Now, I have been obsessed with camis and jeans, camis and shorts, camis and anything. I just think they are so cute. They're easy to wear. They're comfortable. And it's like they add like a little bit of like, you know, something to your outfit. Because, you know, most of these are worn indoors in the bedroom. And it's like now we're breaking them out. We're making them more fashionable to wear outside of the home and I just think that they're very cute and comfy like I said this one here I love the neckline on it I love the um there's actual buttons on it I just think those are so cute and the lacy detail I just think it's just a cute little cami to wear and it's green for the camis I picked up several when I was at this um another thrift store it's actually called the thrift store I found this one here it's just a black little cami I just think this one is so cute put on a nice little bra underneath it you can layer this bad boy for sure um, very very cute and right next to it was the uh, ivory colored version of it thought these were just such cute little finds everything that was in this thrift store that I went to for the camis um, everything was around three to four dollar range and they also had a sale going on so i really did not spend too much on the camis and things that i bought and even when i got to the counter they were still on sale the best thing about this thrift store um, that's actually called the thrift store is that they give a 25 percent military discount every single day and they offer student discounts on thursdays i believe so Definitely, if you're in this area, you should go check them out. They're really cool. Alrighty, so another little cami that I found was this one here. Now, as you can tell, this one is a bit more revealing. Um, it definitely is lace all the way through, and it's longer. I just, and there's like this little detail on the front with the rose um, and the bow. Even though this one here is a little bit more fancier, and it ties in the back. I just thought it was so cute like even you can totally put this on the right way without it looking like okay she's definitely wearing lingerie outside um, you just have to find the right bra for one and maybe even just throwing on like a cute little jacket or something like that so it doesn't look like too if you're not going for an overly sexy look you know definitely throwing on like a cute little jean jacket or something over this you can get away with this wearing this outside like don't think that you can't so i loved it i'm like i'm gonna pair it with something so it'll 
All right, next one is this one. I just love this color. It's really cute. It is a like an orangey color and it has this red trim around it. I love this one. I think it's fun. You can totally dress this one up, dress it down, do whatever you want to do with it. Put on some really cute accessories with this. Like the best part about camis, I believe, is that because there's so much open in the chest area. If you are uncomfortable showing that much skin, you can load yourself down with necklaces. You know what I mean? Like layer those bad boys up. Throw yourself on like a little jacket. Just, you know, if you're feeling some sort of way, look, you can rock it. You can rock it. So I love this color. I think it's really, really cute. And finally, I found this blue one. Now on the camera, it looks a lot brighter than what it is. This is actually like a navy blue. And this one here I thought was just so pretty. Yes, there is full lace in the front. But like I said, girl, find yourself a cute little bra to go with it. Um, you can still get away with stuff that is this revealing. You know, you can make ways to cover it up. And like I said, again, put yourself on a cute little jacket. Get yourself some necklaces, earrings, whatever. Um, it, these are just so cute and comfy. And these are one of those things where... Cam means I feel as though if you are going somewhere and you're not quite sure if it's a, you know, how you should dress, like if you're going to be overly just or whatnot, throwing yourself a cute little cami, like lace, I don't know why, but it just makes things a little bit more dressed up and most of the camis have a little bit of lace on them. So dress it up, dress it down, do whatever you got to do, but rock them, rock them. All right, next. So. One of the things that I got while I was out at one of the at Second Avenue, I found a really cool because right now, you know, everyone is really into the graphic tees, especially of old bands, old musicians and whatnot. And so I found this really cool Rough Riders uh, shirt. It was in such good condition, y'all. Like, I really wish I would have um, shown the back of the picture. I'm going to insert a picture here or here, one of these places so you can see. Uh, it was in such good shape. I was surprised. Like, there was no fraying. Like, you can still see all the images. The front of the shirt. As you can see, like I said, it's in such good condition. Got my girl Eve in the corner over there. I mean, look at it. Just so nice. And here's the back. I didn't get a picture of it when I was wearing it this day on the, in the back, but... See, look at that, like, man, such good condition. I got several compliments on this shirt when I was out, so I was like, love it, love it. I am so on the hunt for more of these tees, y'all, for real. All right, uh, the next thing that I want to show you is this skirt that I got. I'm going to insert a picture in one of these corners as well of how I styled it. Like, when I saw this skirt... I thought, when I saw the skirt, I thought that it was so cute and I knew exactly how I was going to style it when I saw it. So this is the skirt right here. It has a really, really, really pretty floral print on it. Uh, who is it? it doesn't have a name in it, but I just thought it was so cute. I paired it with a um, an off-the-shoulder uh, bandeau top. And also, I put on my white Air Force Ones. I was so comfortable and cool the whole day. It was just the perfect little outfit to just put on and go. So, yeah. I found this dress here. And I love it. I mean, it is so cute. The colors in it are amazing. I just thought when I saw this dress, all the endless like possibilities of how I could wear this dress. Um, I could totally wear it out, going out, um, casual events, dressy events. It is one of those dresses that have the accordion, um, you know, fabric like giving it. So this bad boy can stretch. I can eat in this dress and I feel like y'all can see my food, baby. Whatever I can do in this dress. There, I don't have a name like who made it. I don't know if this was like someone's project that they did at home but whoever made this they did a wonderful job i love it and i cannot wait to wear it um it's not very short and it's not very long like it fits it hits me in the right spot so that's what i love most about this dress all right um i also found this top here 
I love the print on it. It's so fun. And the way that the shirt is cut, I think it hits me right where I could wear some cute high-waisted jeans with it. Um, I may end up hemming it just a little bit so I can bring it up slightly higher. I have a short torso, so even though this may hit someone at a crop level, for me, it's going to hit me at my waist. So I may end up cropping it. It depends. Um, this does, I don't know who this is by either, but I love the button details on it. Uh, let me see if you can see. Like, the button details on it I thought was really cute. Next is this little black and white shirt. Now, it look a little crazy. You know, it looks, it definitely is unique in the sense that um, it is something that is from the 80s foot show with the puffy sleeves and the arms and so I really quite haven't figured out what project I want to do with this if I want to um, take off the sleeves and like redo them if I want to just totally do a revamp of this I am not quite sure yet but I will figure it out all right now the next thing that i was just so happy when i found these pants i love houndstooth print and you will see later what i mean by that so right here these pants they are so cute they are so 1980s they are super tiny in the waist they cinch you in but then they kind of bellow out they hit right you know, they're just per I love them. Throwing them on with a graphic tee, um, some heels, some boots, whatever. Like, I cannot wait to wear these, especially in the fall. They're going to be perfect. Um, now, when I did get them, they for sure needed some repair. So, I got a little bit of a discount on these. So, I'm very excited to wear these. Um, they're just really cute. I mean, you can't go wrong with Hounds too. You really can't. Now, speaking of houndstooth, many of you may or may not know this, but I love to sew. Sewing is not just a hobby for me, it is a passion. It is something that relaxes me, takes me to just a, a different space. I am so in my zone when I am behind a sewing machine. I just am. So, I'm going to insert a few clips for a th like a thrift flip that I did. So, initially, I'm going to uh, play it here or in one of these areas. Um, initially, I had found this skirt, this house tooth skirt. It was huge. Like, I, and it was definitely one of those projects that someone made. You could tell this, the stitching was just like, it was barely held together. So like, this is perfect fabric right here. Um, oftentimes I go into thrift stores and I see clothes that are like super big. It doesn't deter me from buying them. So I'm like, I can flip it into an outfit that I want to make or just tailor it so it can fit my body. So for this particular skirt, I was like, I really want to make something out of it, but I just don't know what. It was a lot of fabric, but at the same time, not really. It was maybe about, I would say almost two yards of fabric. If that, no, not even that. It was maybe like a yard and a half-ish. And so there wasn't too, too much to work with, but I tried anyways. And so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try it on so you can also see how I did it. Um, but what I made out of that skirt was a sh shorts and also I made a little top. Now I have to say this, like, girl, I wanted to make a like a bandeau sort of top or like a bikini top and I was going to put on a see-through shirt on top of it. Let me tell you something. Eating lately? So the pattern that I have to make myself a cute little bralette was clearly for when my boobs were much, much, much smaller. And even with me adjusting the pattern to fit, there was just not enough of the fabric, like the scrap fabric left over to create a cute bralette that didn't look like I was gonna be working for some money with it, okay? So I'm just gonna be honest. Like, it just covered the necessary area and that was it. So I was like, all right, boom, scratch that. Um, how else can I use this scrap fabric? Because 
all in all i'm all about sustainability that's why i thrift that's why i like to you know take things that are already existing and repurpose them and so side note everything that i sew I keep as much of the scraps as possible because I end up stitching them together to make a whole nother like just um, a scrap piece of fabric that I can go and cut different things out when I'm making um, clothes, accessories, whatever it is. I'll go back to that. Quilts. I've made several quilts for people in my family with scrap fabrics that I've had that have come out great. Um, so yes, that's what I'm all about, saving as much as you can. So. I took the scrap fabric that was left and I just added a little, um, you know, faux pocket onto the front of the shirt, as you will see. And I still have so much of the scraps, like little pieces left over that I end up may, um, I may make some earrings out of it. Or I'll think of something in it, or it just may be used for a whole nother project. I don't know yet, but I'm not getting rid of everything completely. So here are the shorts that I made. I just think they are so freaking cute. They are high-waisted. I feel as though you can dress this up, dress this down. Um, they have pockets in them. I am a fidgety sort of person, so I need, whenever I wear like a dress or some shorts or something, I need somewhere to put my hands because I'm just, I don't know. So I just love these. They are very, very cute and i love the print i mean houndstooth is great it's a, it's a class it's one of those classic prints it will never go out of style so i think these little shorts are perfect and they will fit right in with both dressing up dressing down whatever and with them being stretchy in the waist having some elastic um, I can eat whatever I want to eat and you know I got some give to them so this is the shirt that I made with it so right here you can see like the little faux pocket that I took from it this shirt as well it's see-through in the back as you'll see when I actually try it on and the fabric on the front is just a, um, a knit fabric that's very soft and I just thought it's really cute to throw on um, a little side note about this particular shirt is like i said i find things repurpose them i went to italy last year and i went to a little shop um it reminded me of like a forever 21 it's a place like that and i found a shirt there and i i bought i just bought a bunch of stuff because like i'm in italy so i want to buy all the things um that i think are cute and so i bought this shirt i didn't really dislike it but I just bought it and I said if nothing else like I could wear the it for Halloween or just something because it had like different little skulls and like stuff on it so I was like I like this shirt because I know I'm going to use it later for some purpose and so what I did was I cut out the front and I took scissors and I just went very closely around the seam around the front of the shirt took that off and cut the front pattern of this actual top now from that and just re-sewed it back together. Um, it was definitely a little bit of a challenge because if any of you have ever sewn um, in that sort of method, you know that it's a bit difficult sometimes to catch all the seams together because it's not always straight. You know, you're basically taking two separate things and putting them together. So it definitely presented a bit of a challenge, but I love the way it came out. The sleeves, as you can see, is see-through. I just think it came out very, very cute. And um, like I said, this top doesn't just have to be worn with the shorts, you know. Um, I just like the fact that I used a little bit of the fabric I had left and made a cute little ensemble with it. So I just thought that was cute. And like I said, we'll put in a video of like a few clips of I redid this whole project. Um, one more thing too that I forgot. See this bag as well. Um, I just thought this purse was so cute. I love, I mean the gold door knocker on the front of this bad boy is so cute. Like I definitely um, put this bag in like late 80s, early 90s. It's in such great condition y'all. Um, they just don't make hardware on purses like this anymore like good sturdy hardware that is gonna last for years like i just don't see that on a lot of bags lately um as you can see the inside looks pretty good um 
no stains or anything like that it's just you know there's marco <laughs> um just a really cute purse like you throw this bad boy on boom you ready to go goes with a lot of different outfits i just love it so i was very happy when i found that purse as well also back on the repurposing tip so um like i said i love to sew i love finding things to redo them so this little bag here it's like a little you know the little grocery sack style bag um what sparked this design because i made this bag myself um i actually found these rings here these purse rings at a thrift store a little while ago and I love going into like the little knickknack area where they have just the plastic bags full of like the little junk bags. I love those because you never know what you're going to find in them. Sometimes I just randomly go and like pick three. And when I get home, I'm like, okay, keep this, you know, give this back, keep this, you know, whatever. And so these rings have been sitting like on this back wall here um, for such a long time. I'm like, I don't know, like, I want to make something like a nice little bag, but I just didn't get around to it and so this fabric here is um leftover fabric that i have a ton of from a few handbags that i made um and also this the bottom of it as well is made out of vinyl um you know it's really cute little print and so i just thought this was really really cute i sewed on the the little turquoise stones here and it's just one of those bags that you you throw on you get ready to go like you just if you know you're going somewhere you don't want to be carrying a lot of things in your hand um i think this one is perfect you can fit your phone keys uh wallet everything you want into this little bag and it's a cute little color um definitely got the boho thing going on with it so this is definitely one of my things i will be putting this up on my etsy shop i do have an etsy um, right now I'm doing some rebranding of the site of the page itself but I will be just adding everything that I make on there even with the redesign of what I'm doing so this little bad boy will be up there um, for you to take a look at and purchase hopefully um, so yeah I believe yo I swear like I'm leaving something I know I am Ooh what i'm leaving out is all of the jewelry that i have acquired uh just a few pieces i showed today is like the tiniest little bit of jewelry that i have picked up over the last few months so i will for sure i'm just looking around now mm, yes yeah, so i will for sure be doing another video on all the jewelry that i've picked up and i will also be doing some more um thrift flips because i have done that with so many of my clothes that i've bought in recently is actually redoing them repurposing them from the thrift store and making them cute for something i want to wear so yeah there will definitely be more videos up of that so i want to thank you again for coming to see my videos i really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe if you there's anything that you're interested in me doing sewing along sew alongs um thrift flips whatever makeup hair anything that you dog talk i will totally do it um, but until then i'll see you next time besos